Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you've ever wanted to get hands-on with a TradingView indicator, maybe to learn how it works, customize it to your needs, or just understand Pine script a bit better, you're in the right place. Today, I'll walk you through the entire process of copying a TradingView indicator script using RSI as an example and show you how to make your own editable version. By the end, you'll know exactly how to grab the source code, make adjustments, and apply it straight to your charts. Let's jump right in. First things first, go ahead and open up TradingView in your browser. If you don't already have it bookmarked, just type TradingView com into your address bar. You'll want to be logged in since we'll be editing and saving scripts to your personal account. Once you're on the TradingView homepage, look towards the top. There's a navigation bar with several options. Click on Products. This menu gives you access to all the main features TradingView offers like charts, screener, and importantly for us today, indicators. With the Products menu open, move up to the top and select Indicators. This will bring you to TradingView's robust library of scripts and built-in indicators. You'll see a search bar at the top of this page. Type RSI, which stands for Relative Strength Index, one of the most popular momentum indicators traders use to spot overbought or oversold conditions in the market. Once you see RSI in the search results, go ahead and add it to your grid view. Think of grid view as your personal workspace, a bit like laying out tools on your desk before starting a project. This lets you keep the RSI indicator handy as we work through the next steps. Now let's take a closer look. Select the RSI indicator from your grid. When you do this, some options will appear, one of which is to view the source code. Depending on the indicator's source code or open in Pine Editor might appear as a little button or a menu option, click that. Don't worry if you don't see it right away, not all indicators share their code, but most of the built-ins like RSI do. After clicking to view the source code, TradingView will open up the Pine script editor for you. Here you'll see all the code that powers the RSI indicator. This is where the magic happens to copy the code, just highlight everything in the Pine Editor window, then use right-click and select Copy, or use CTRL plus C, Command plus C for Mac users. Here comes a really important step. We don't just want to view the code, we want to make it our own working version that we can tweak and test. To do this in the Pine Editor, look towards the top for the option that says Create a Working Copy. Give that a click. TradingView will set up a blank Pine script for you, ready to be edited. Paste the code you copied into this new space. Now you have a fully editable version of the RSI indicator. This opens up a world of possibilities. You can experiment with changing the RSI length, add custom alerts, or even adjust how it's displayed on your chart. Take your time to make changes if you'd like. And if this is your first time, don't worry, messing around in the Pine Editor is a safe space. If you make a mistake, you can always undo or start fresh. Once you're satisfied, all you have to do is click Add to Chart. In just a moment, your customized, or even just your copied, indicator will appear on your TradingView chart, ready for action. And that's it, you've successfully copied an indicator script in TradingView and now you're free to explore and customize it as you wish. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you have any questions or requests for future tutorials, drop them down in the comments, I read every single one. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a step-by-step -step guide like this. Thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next tutorial.